chose to do my project on Edward Steichen. He was an American born March 27, 1879 to March 25, 1973. And this is a coated gum circlamate over a platinum print. Um, it's one of Alfred Stieglitz's collections in 1973. Um, the quote that I, I found related to him and what he said um, and related to all his photographs that he did, um, I believe was what he said when, when the shutter clicks, anything else that can be done afterward is not worth consideration by Edward Steichen. And I believe what he meant by saying that is, um, as a photographer, he lived at every moment of photography and that anything in the photo was the only thing that was worth seeing. Nothing else around it or surroundings. It was the subject caught in the photograph. Um, it was captured during the click of the camera, and that was the only thing that mattered to him was getting the perfect subject and everything um, the way he, he wanted it. And I think that, you know, meant with taking the photo, the click, he got exactly the photograph he intended. He was born in 1879. Um, he immigrated to the United States from Luxembourg in 1881. Um, he first lived in Michigan and then he moved to Milwaukee in 1889. He began, he started off with studying painting. Um, he worked as an apprentice designer for a lithographic company in Milwaukee. That's where he studied more of painting. Um, and during that time, he helped organize an, the Art Students League. Um, he was also a lieutenant colonel and commanded the photographic division of the aerial photography um, during World War I. Um, and shortly following, uh, four years later, he retired in 1918. Um, he decided to stop painting and he switched over to photography. Um, and he died in 1973. Um, he became a photographer in 1896. Um, he started photography in 1896. In 1899, he entered his first exhibition. And that was in Philadelphia. And um, like I said, he was a, a painter before a photographer. He wanted to focus more on photography and he was, I think he was tired of painting. <laughs> um, he worked alongside Alfred Stieglitz in a gallery called the Little Little Galleries. Um, he worked taking photographs for Vanity Fair in Vogue. He was also the director of the photography department at the Museum of Modern Art during his photographic career. Um, he was very in, he was um, He was very much part of the photo session, and he was, um, most of his photography was uh, high fashion photography, and he also was um, very dominant in the pictorial movement. He published A Family Man in 1952. He also went to 29 cities and 11 European countries over a, over a three-year period, and that's, um, he created The Family Man from that. Um, during his 77 years of being a, a photographer in that career, um, The Family Man was the most recognized and uh, most famous achievement of his. And this is a photo um, that he took of Alfred Stieglitz um, when they were at the 291 um, during the photo session. Uh, it's a coated gum reclamate over platinum print. So this was a picture that he took of Alfred Stieglitz.
This is another one of his um, well-known work. It's the Bells Act Toward the Light, Midnight. It was taken in 1908 um, on direct carbon print. Very beautiful colors, the, the framing, the lighting, the dark shadowing here, and um, like I said, he focuses mainly on his subject. So right here you can see the, the focus and the light around it. The next photograph is the little round mirror. It was taken in 1901 and printed in 1905. It's a gum bichromate over platinum print. Um, and again, he, he loved just the dynamic and, and the lighting. Um, very subtle, very soft, but yet very dramatic. And this was one of his famous work as well. Um, this was the steeplechase day in Paris, the grandstand. It was um, taken in 1907, printed in 1911. It was a direct carbon print. Um, during this photo, he went to the races and he actually he saw everyone dressed up in the society, um, saw them as an audience, and he wanted to get pictures of the high fashion during that time and what they were wearing and just the scenery and the people around at the race at that moment. So I think this is a beautiful photograph. The next photograph is a portrait of Princess Biskupov of in New York in 1924. Um, you can tell just a, a dark, dramatic capturing just the subject in the picture. Um, it's a gelatin silver print. And he also did many self-portraits of himself. Um, self-portrait with photographic paraphernalia um, in 1929 silver print. Um, a lot of photographs he did, you can see, it's almost like it was in his um, studio or surrounding just cameras and just caught him in the perfect setting. Beautiful photo of him. Um, the next picture is Gene Simpson wearing a big hat. It's a 1907 autochrome. Um, and again, he, he uses very dramatic colors here, the black, dark, um, shadowing in the light here, of the face, and just... Um, the framing is set right directly around the, the subject. Another beautiful photo photograph he took. The next photograph is Dawn Flowers. Um, a picture he took in 1903. Um, and this is the flat iron 1904 gum bricker mate over platinum print that he did. And again, a beautiful, beautiful picture. It's, um, it's a town. Um, he must have been traveling and um, just beautiful shadows here, the tall buildings, the trees. And this is another photograph he took, almost um, similar to another one I showed you, but the lighting's a little, a little different. It's a Balzac toward the light midnight, um, direct carbon print. This one is a Vu Angus, 1902 to 19, or 1900 to 1902 platinum print, um, softly rendered. Um, He took this while traveling to France. Um, it was a small town just east of Paris, and he ended up buying a house um, near this, in this small town in his later life, and he settled down with his family. So this is just a beautiful picture of part of, you know, what he loved and where he, he moved to in France. 
and this is Rodin the E, the 1907 autochrome. Um, this photograph was taken in um, a famous sculpture studio, Rodin's studio. Um, Alfred Steichen was the first American photographer who was in his studio and he captured him with one of his sculptures. Um, so it's beautiful how you catch, you know, the, sculpt, the sculpture and then the creator. Just beautiful picture. Next picture is a medium direct carbon print in 1905 um, called Cyclamen Miss Philip Liddig. Um, I think this has to do with the uh, fashion photography. Um, beautiful subject. Um, you can tell the fashion around her just, he was very into that. Beautiful photograph. Next photograph is J. Pierpont Morgan, 1903. And then it was printed in 1909. It was a gun becoming of a platinum print. It's very dark. Um, a lot of light up here. Very strong photograph. Again, um, self-portrait of Edward Steichen. Um, date 1917. Medium platinum print. He took many photographs of himself, and this is one when he was younger. The next photograph is in Brancusi's studio. When Steichen lived in Paris, he went to Brancusi's studio and took photographs of his work. So this is a photograph displaying um, a corner in Brancusi's, Brancusi's studio. Next photograph is the brass bowl that he did. Um, it was a direct carbon print um, dated in 1904. The image was of a young languid woman. Um, she was very into Vogue. And when Second first traveled to Paris to visit the 1900 exposition Universal, this was a picture that he took. Um, of a woman that was very much in fashion vogue, um, very dark, but a very dark field. The next picture is the black face, dated 1901, printed in 1902, direct carbon print. And the last photograph is of Catherine Eunice Starr, dated 1907, and it's a medium autochrome. And the significance with his work, um, he was a photographer. He was a photographer and a painter, although he gave up painting to um, focus all his time on being a photographer. He was very much involved in the pictorial movement. Um, he was a very a, a key figure in the pictorial movement. He worked often using commercial photography, and he was very famous for his work in fashion photography. Um, a lot of the work he did was for Vogue, Vanity Fair, um, taking pictures of women in, in clothing, high fashion clothing. Uh, all his photographs are soft yet dramatic images. Uh, he created The Family of Man, which was his greatest creation. And he was 20th century preeminent photographer. And that is um, the life of Edward Steichen. <laughs>